Davis resets his running back, Shamik Perry, to his right. And the quarterback will take it himself, and he is in for the touchdown. Nick Davis, the Nick Davis with his second rushing touchdown of touchdown the season. The kick is on the way. That's deflected. So the extra point is negated by the Stonehill special teams. On here with eight seconds on the play clock. Seems to be a little bit of confusion. Down to two and one, and they get the snap off. Davis stepping out of trouble and then get taken down at about the seven yard line. Down inside, 125 to go here in the quarter. Three seconds on the play clock. Cordova right up the gut. Did he get in? Yes, he did. Touchdown. Jet today. The Skyhawks have a four point lead. And on first down, here's Cordova shaking a couple of tackles inside the 25, down close to the 22 yard line. What a great second effort that time by Cordova. So this time it'll be Fultz who will come right under center this time on third and goal. And here's Brown trying to work his way in, and he does for a touchdown. Dylan Brown with his second touchdown of the season. Every game we just try to set the tone early, you know, we try to be a more physical team and I think that today we were able to do that. Um, they had the first, uh, score on the first drive and then nothing after, you guys answered right away, you know, controlled the clock with the run game, just talk about how you guys were able to kind of take control right away after they jumped ahead. Yeah, once we, once we got into a groove, I think we were able to settle down, figure everything out, but also credit to the defense, but after that first drive, nothing pretty much, so. Really nice job overall. Um, and then um, you had two touchdowns over 100 yards for the first time in your career. Just talk about you being the focus back now and uh, getting the ball in your first 100 yard game. Um, it's nice to have that, but obviously all the credit goes to the O line. I mean, I can't do it without them. And uh, the other people, the other running backs, Kearns, Trey or Dylan, uh, Jason Kenny got in today. We're all collective group, so that's to all of us on the O line. Talk about just offensively the last two weeks, really being able to move the ball in you know, different ways, kind of. But, uh, you know, how do you guys feel you're clicking now? I think the first two games we started out slow. The you know, first two games started out slow. The last two, we've been able to find our rhythm early. And just being more consistent, I think, has been the key for us, just consistency. We started all week. I think our scout team gave us one of the best looks, um, scout offense that we've got. You know, all year, and that definitely led to them putting up six points. Um, we've had trouble all year really coming out of the gate and settling in. I think what it is is uh, we've had so much prolonged def uh, defensive success over the past couple of years that, uh, and we have so many returners that guys are just trying to do too much. Um, and I think it's evident this game we had 11 guys doing 11 jobs, um, and everybody played as one. So you know that's what happens when you put six points up. Um. You guys giving up some points, not, not characteristically what you guys have done defensively. Was that kind of a focus this week to really step up defensively? And, and yeah, it's a focus every week. I mean, you know, being here for four years now, the defense has been the heart of this team, um, and we wanted to get back to that. Um, like I said, the first couple of weeks, I think guys are just trying to do too much uh, and missing out on their job, but I think we simplified it down this week, uh, you know, put in some great coverages, great disguises. Um, and you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, energy going into this game, 
Um, so we got excited and we were motivated all week and uh, had a great week of practice. What's the focus moving forward now? You've evened it up in the conference. Um, Absolutely. You know, next week at AIC. AIC is obviously a big one. Have yet to uh, get a win, I think, in program history. Um, and we're hungry for that. So we're going to keep rolling. We're going to be greedy. Uh, we're going to look at this film and do, do what we did here today and play as uh, 11 as one and it's really 100 as one um, going forward. Obviously, it was great to get a win last week, but we didn't feel like, especially defensively, that we played like that we earned a win. You know, it still kind of felt like that empty feeling, like we had so much to work on, so much to improve. Um, and I think that was the, the difference in today's game. We're able, we were able to control the game both offensively in terms of running the ball uh, and then converting third downs and defensively stopping the run and getting off the field on third down. I and mean, that was the story of the game. Yeah, they had the 43-yard touchdown, you know, dry possession the start, and then really nothing after that to the fourth quarter. Talk about what you guys were able to do defensively today. Yeah, you know, it's disappointing to see that because I think, you know, it's the four drives that, that we first look at every week is our first possession, our first drive, you know, on both sides of the ball uh, to start each half. Um, and uh, it's disappointing to give that up. Uh, but I love the way the guys responded, the way they answered the call afterwards. And, uh, you know, we want them to come out and play on their toes um, and be aggressive. And, you know, we did what we had to do from that drive on. Uh, Mike Cordova over at 100 yards for the first time in his career. Talk about his him being able to set the tone on that in the running Yeah, game. I mean, with the, the elements being what they were today, that, that was a huge. And we knew that coming in, you know, all week we, we were preparing for this. Um, we knew we were going to have to run the ball uh, effectively and efficiently uh, and control the ball and then do the same thing on the other side of the ball. So, um, Mikey did a great job of just controlling the game for us offensively. We dominated in time but possession, uh, and it made some, some very manageable third downs from our offense. I know he's the one with over 100, but you had some other guys that really stepped in and helped with that run game, Dylan Brown. I mean, yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, we feel like we have a very talented you know, running back uh, position group, uh, which is nice because we can roll a couple different guys in there and not skip a beat. Um, and I think, you know, another thing, the quarterback does a great job with some of our read stuff of really making sure that we're handing the ball off or pulling the ball into the right looks. Um, you know, so it, again, schematically, we're scheming guys up, and then the quarterback's got to make the right read. So that was that was definitely good to see. Moving forward, you guys got to even now in the conference again, and you know, head to, on the road to AIC. Just you know, just keep it rolling, I guess. Yeah, I mean, for us, we're, we're not really worried about what our record is. We're, we're worried about what, you know, what our record is that week. You know, we're we're focused. You know, after tomorrow, we'll watch this film and we'll shift gears to AIC, and um, and that's all we can really do is just focus on each day at hand.